Bruce Wayne. And what do you do for a living? <clears throat> Among the fans of the legendary hero were two men who considered the time was right for an epic Batman movie. The producers of the Academy Award winning Rain Man, John Peters and Peter Goober. Batman is a picture that um, has been a dream of mine and my and partner Peter Goober's for many years. I mean, as a kid, he was uh, someone who I, I always uh, fantasized as being. Him, him and Elvis Presley were my two heroes, you know. This past year has been the realization not only of a 10-year partnership, but of a project that was there at the inception. And so it's quite exciting. Following hits like Flashdance, The Color Purple, and The Witches of Eastwick, Goober Peters now oh, hired their up. biggest ever crew to man this vast and breathtaking production. 482 specialists were on the payroll, including professional sculptors. One of the greatest movie armies ever assembled was committed to telling the thrilling story of the Cape Crusader. This is a movie that employed over 500 people. Um, so there was a lot of work for all of us to do between the miniatures and the second unit and all the actors. When you have Jack Nicholson, Michael Keaton, and Kim Bas Basinger in one movie, you know, you, you got your hands full. You can call me Joker. My life is really <laughs> complex. As John, who was on point on the project in London, would often say, he said, it's exciting to see what you've worked on for such a long period of time on the page really end up on the stage. Because it's an emotional, wonderful story um, about a wonderful character, a love story, an adventure, um, and it's a wonderful movie that just makes you feel good at the end of it. I feel a little drunk. <laughs> and you're not anything. Hey, don't drink and I'm flying. <laughs> when you freak terrorizes, they'll get a load of me. 